Today's horror manga dub narration is the god of love, Ayugisu Sachiko. If you enjoy the story at any point in time, please do not hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Anyways, without further ado, let's get in to this chilling tale of love. It has been three months since I started going out with my classmate Sayama. And then, finally, that day came. Uh, today my parents are gone, so want to come over this evening? She was so excited and happy in that moment, she thought to herself. Oh, what do I do, God of Love? I'm so nervous. Later that day, she met up with her girlfriends, discussing about all that may happen. Maybe he invited me over to study. The exams are right around the corner. Obviously not. Ah, Mariko, you should go with this one. So cute. Good luck, soldier. I'm so nervous. Don't forget to report to us tomorrow. And so, the day waned on and soon it was the evening. She arrived at his private estate, looking up at how gargantuan the house was. It wasn't just a house, it was a mansion. Eventually, her boyfriend, Sayama, let her inside. Just come on in. What did you say to your parents? I told them that I was going to study at a friend's house. You can stretch out your legs. Uh, okay. Wanna drink something? B -b barley tea. I like its sweet fragrance. But we have wine and brandy too, though. Uh... Just kidding. We don't have barley tea, so I'll get you some black tea. And so, he went and prepared some black tea, serving it to the two of them on plates. I've only heard rumors, but your house is like a fancy hideout. You think so? It's not like that for me. For example, this vase, what do you think of it? That it's really expensive? My dad paid millions for this. This is Sayama. I'm not interested in anything that you can buy with money. It's limerence. What I truly cherish is your heart. From the bottom of my heart. I love you. M me too. I love you, Sayama. I'm so happy. But there's one thing I must tell you. I'm not sure if you will accept me after hearing this. When I wasn't yet in elementary school, I got a little brother. I was really happy about it, but my feelings quickly changed. It felt like my parents' attention was only directed at him. I began hating my brother, so I put a vinyl bag over his head. The two of them sat there in silence as he paused, and then he continued, saying, They concluded that the cause of death was suffocation from lying face down on the ground. I doubt anyone suspected me. You're the first person I've ever told about this. Would you still love me after hearing that? You were just a child back then, and there's also the statute of limitations. In that instant, his face formed a smirk. Just kidding, I was pulling your leg. Uh -huh. You're so gullible. You're awful. I thought my heart would stop. Sorry, sorry. Still, it made me happy. You really cherish me that much? 
Sayama! Come with me. This is the real reason I called you over. Uh, where are we going? To my bedroom. Finally? And so, the two of them went into his bedroom. But, that was when she saw blood was splattered everywhere. And Sayama soon spoke. They opposed me going out with you. So, I had no other choice. So, half of this is your fault. Inside his bedroom was the splattered remains of his mom and dad. Intestines spewing out of them. She looked at him and the room in utter shock. S Sayama? I told you, didn't I? My parents are gone. Gone from this world. I want to get rid of them tonight. You'll help me. What's wrong? Hurry and take your clothes off. Else they'll get dirty. Despite the fact I'm like this, you said that you still love me, right? God, oh God of love, what am I supposed to do in this situation? I'm so nervous. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'd like to take this time to give a very special thanks to my Patreons and YouTube members. Sarah De Jesus, Moto Surf, Leo, Ace Anonymous, and Ali Way. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. And remember, you're important and you matter. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.